It is always a wow moment realizing how far the technological world has advanced to. From the never understandable structures of the pyramids built by the Egyptians many thousands of years ago to the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa. With further ado, let's look up the most fierce competition between states in using their advances for building some of the tallest buildings of the future. But before we dive into the video, hit that subscribe button so you could reach us for new information every time. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir Constructed at 1,001 meters, 3,284 feet, Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, this grand skyscraper is due to be built in Kuwait City, Kuwait. Designed to be part of the future city known as Medina Al Harir, which will be comprising of its own airport and an Olympic stadium just beside the skyscraper. This amazing city will be home to an outstanding number of 700,000 fortunate residents. Keep in mind before running off to book a flight that this outstanding building won't be completed until the next 25 years. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir is estimated to cost around an eye-watering amount of 132 billion US dollars. The plans of the skyscraper is to include a 36-kilometer bridge linking it to Kuwait City. As it is already clear that this mega infrastructure will clearly pass the present tallest building, Burj Khalifa in UAE. Have you ever heard about the folktale 1001 Arabian Nights? Well, the height of this skyscraper is based on that very same folktale. If the building is built as scheduled, it shall surpass the phenomenal Burj Khalifa. Talking about the height of this skyscraper, it is under constant danger of high wind currents because of its enormous height. Skyscrapers do not normally exceed 80 floors due to the amount of space that would be taken up by the elevators and to keep it below danger levels. However, the Mubarak Al Kabir Tower would consist of a far greater number of floors. This would demand double or triple decker elevators. Another encounter would be posed by the immense height of the building, which makes it defenseless to high winds. In order to cope with these winds, the tower is designed as three interlocking towers, each twisting 45 degrees to help stabilize it. In addition, vertical ailerons will run the full length of the building on each edge. Adjustments to the positions of these ailerons will redirect the winds in order to minimize structural vibrations. Jeddah Tower After hearing about such an enormous tower and the risks it has, no one can dare think that there could be a bigger tower than the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir. Well, here is where you are wrong. Introducing to you an even bigger tower than the already 1001 meter Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, the Jeddah Tower is a skyscraper construction project currently on hold. Located on the north side of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, it is planned to be the world's first 1 km, 3,281 high building, and the centerpiece and first phase of development and tourist attraction known as Jeddah Economic City. It was to be one mile long and named Mile Long Tower Nut. The geology of the land was not suitable to withstand the load, hence it was kept low. It started in 2016 but was put on hold in 2018, but it continued in 2020. The three-phase project was proposed for a large area of undeveloped waterfront land with an area of 5.2 kilometers. The area is located roughly 20 kilometers north of the port city of Jeddah. Jeddah Economic City was designed by Adrian Smith, designer of Burj Khalifa, and is estimated to cost at 20 billion US dollars and take around 10 years to build. The development is envisioned to grow into a new district of Jeddah. The second phase of the project will be infrastructure development needed to support the city, and the third phase has not even been revealed yet. The building will have a total of 59 elevators, 5 of which will be double-decker elevators, as well as 12 escalators. The elevators are made by the Finnish company, Kone. It will also have the highest observation deck in the world, to which high-speed elevators will travel at up to 10 meters. That's 10 meters per second in both directions. Creek Tower This 1,300-meter monster surpasses even the Jeddah Tower. The Creek Tower consists of 210 floors and costs around 2 billion US dollars. The final height has not been disclosed, but project developer Imar officially talks about a minimum height of at least 828 meters, that's 2,711 feet, which is the height of Burj Khalifa, Dubai's tallest skyscraper. Upon completion, it will become the tallest tower in the world, surpassing the Tokyo Skytree, 
The building was designed by the world's famous architect, Santiago Calatrava. Calatrava got his inspiration from Islamic minarets. Some of his best works include the World Trade Center Transportation Hub in New York City, revamped Olympic Athletic Center of Athens in Athens. He had also designed some skyscrapers. One is turning torso in Malmo, an iconic spiral-shaped building. Another skyscraper is the renowned Chicago Spire, a canceled tower in Chicago that was once intended to become the tallest building in America. The Creek Tower will accommodate luxury residents, offices, restaurants, and apartments. Its shape is especially designed to look like a flower that will glow at night. A large project named Dubai Creek Harbor is being developed there. Lots of new buildings will be built. Dubai Creek Harbor is planned to be a new district in Dubai, just like the Dubai Marina, Business Bay, and Downtown Dubai. But this district will be three times the size of Downtown Dubai. Covering an area of 6 square kilometers, Dubai Creek Tower will be the centerpiece of this project. The site of Dubai Creek Harbor is located at 8 kilometers east of Burj Khalifa. Dubai Creek Tower will be mainly used for observation decks or sky gardens, and there will be 20 floors occupied by hotels and restaurants as well, and even residences. The antenna on the peak will be used for broadcasting. For Dubai Creek Tower, Santiago Calatrava claims the inspiration of his design was drew from the natural form of lily, a kind of plant that can be found in desert areas. Lily also inspired the footprint shape of Burj Khalifa. The Creek Tower will serve as the centerpiece and heart of the complex. The centerpiece of the district was originally planned to be a pair of twin towers which would become the tallest twin towers in the world and then they were eventually replaced by the current Creek Tower. Sky Mile Tower Situated at 1700 meters is the Japan Sky Mile Tower. The design of the tower is part of an initiative called Next Tokyo 2045 for research and developmental purposes and was made by Cohn Pedersen Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates. The Sky Mile Tower would be built on the archipelago of the reclaimed land in Tokyo Bay. This proposed reclamation project with the Sky Mile Tower as its centerpiece is dubbed as Next Tokyo. The building is designed to be occupied by around 55,000 people and is planned to be 1,700 meters high. The hexagonal areas around the building protect it from hurricanes and floods. It's genius design so that water does not need to be pumped all the way up to the building rather than it collects water from the cloud moisture. Water distribution in a mile-high tower is also a challenge, highlighted by the report. Pumping the water directly from the ground would be very costly and time-consuming. To solve this, the design uses an articulated facade around the tower's legs to increase the building's surface area which helps facilitate cloud harvesting as a water source. Water would then be collected and stored at different levels of the building. This is all for today. Let us know which of the five buildings did you find most inspiring and we will see you in the next video.